Do you return items to Amazon when you buy them? Well, if you keep returning items or uh, more than a few items, or let's say you buy a Hickory Farms basket and you return it half eaten, I, I know people who do that. Uh, they, they've got your number, and, and, and you can just lose their number because Amazon doesn't want anything to do with you. What, what's happening is a lot of folks using Amazon are just finding out your account is closed. Kat Timp is here, Michael Paris Dudell, and Christina Parts Nevelis. Uh, what are they doing here? They're effectively saying that we're on to you, this stops. But they don't give you any warning. Do, do we no. know the litmus test? Well, they said it's up to them to, to make that call, right? And they don't need to tell us exactly. But like you mentioned, there are a few stipulations if you're returning things. And the Wall Street Journal would have wrote a piece about it. And they only highlighted a few cases where some people had their accounts closed right away for just four returns. This, I'd like to remind everybody, is a company. They want to make money. And they don't want people to continuously send back items. So I'm actually on the fence where I, the side where I don't think it's that big of a deal. They're highlighting the extreme cases but Didn't this, this come to the journal's attention though because uh, even, people were saying hey my account's been shut down yeah people have been saying this for a long time right. this has been happening since 2009 2010 they have been shutting down accounts the question is why are they doing it and what do you have to do to get your account but shut it's down? a lot of accounts it's a lot of accounts uber does this too right all of a sudden you're trying to get an uber your uber doesn't work they won't give it back that means that lyft has a real competitive advantage if they want to swoop in take that competition i want to see best buy walmart i want to see them release some creative that attacks it's uh, one Amazon thing if you this. haven't paid your bill or you're trying yeah. to do something fast and, and, and i think there was a case of someone got who uh, at, at history of returning 39 items but bought more than 370. So that was still over 10% of the items bought. Maybe that was the cutoff figure. No one's explaining it, but what do you think? I think that they should explain exactly what a being abused, abusive in this system actually means so that people actually know how much that they're allowed to return. I just don't understand who are all these people who are actually returning all this stuff. It's I, very hard to do. It's, it's so baskets. hard to do. It's, hard it's hard so to do. hard to do. I mean, I bought so many things. I bought a a kitty scratching post for my cat that looked like a DJ Oh, booth. you got the last and one. I, immediately, I remember you, yeah. I immediately regretted buying it as soon as it arrived. My cat didn't even like it. But did I return it? No, I kept it and it's still sitting around my apartment. I can't imagine actually going and taking the time to return these things. Yeah. Well, I've that, only returned a broken candle one time. That is why they launched something in 2016 it. called Returnless Refund. So yeah, they're being strict in some ways, but in other ways, they're being really innovative. Returnless Refund means you can say, I don't like it, I'm not satisfied, they're going to refund fund you the money and you don't even have to return the object. Well, that they'll was give you a the credit. No, yeah, but some, not, not depends, depends on the seller. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give you yeah. credit. But uh, I wanna, you just said you want to see a, a, like store companies, uh, brick and mortar do that, but they already are. You yeah. have JCPenney, Best Buy that are working with third party outlets, uh, one of them being the retail equation to create customer scores for those that are returning items too often, too quickly, or they're choosing items that are often damaged or they have, a, they're, they're literally tracking But they now. must keep track of someone like, oh, it's Christine again, returning. Yeah, oh, of course, right? even like Victoria's Secret. I go to Victoria's Secret. If I return $250 worth of items within a 90-day period, I can't buy anything or return any. Well, I can't buy uh, return anything there. So all of these stores are putting in their own policies in place. We're just not hearing about it. Amazon, because they dominate the online marketplace, we're hearing about it with these extreme cases. I still think Amazon's doing the right thing, and most people are lazy. But well, getting, but honestly, it being banned from Amazon, I don't know about the rest of these people, but if it happened to me, that would drastically impact my life. So I get my bubbly water from there. I get my paper right. towel from well, there. Well, that's what I was. So actually, I was saying the opposite. What I was saying is, I want to. The customer is not right. <laughs> well, no, some of the time. Like, I don't know the last time you broke in retail, right. but the customer is not I want to see the bigger, that was more very dismissive. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's why I left. I was really. I just listen, go like Grimms. this and then I go from right. here. Right. And now I'm back here, which right. is that I think that retailers, traditional retailers, need to say, look, you, this is how we're going to differentiate. We are, we have a very open return policy. We are for the customer. I want them not to get more stringent on returns. I want them to come out and say, stop shopping at Amazon. With us, you know, you can always return. This but is you a know, moment of differentiation. That's a PR movie. So yes. It, they know the fallout of this is it makes them look bad because yeah. they're great at shipping stuff out, not very good at, you know, Taking getting stuff back. back, right? Exactly. And that's I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm late. I bought a kitchen off of Wayfair.com, and I'm that lazy to send it back because I don't even know how to deal with like putting it back in the box. And, exactly. Like, it's it. well, so I don't know how these people yeah, do that. Yeah. Who are these people who are, do they not have jobs? Do they not have lives? I don't understand. Maybe that's all they do is just return stuff because that is a process. Yeah. We also can't forget that Amazon's a uh, tech company, and they iterate like a tech company. They're always changing.
policies. That's the way the world They had a price works. match refund two years ago. Are they you a prime member? Again. I am a prime member. Okay, there you go. Proud right. prime right, there you go. Guys, I want to thank you all very, very much, but I don't understand this, but you got to be very careful doing it because you could... All right, in the meantime, um, everyone was saying the, the Grand Ole Party was in for a blue wave. Well, well, someone apparently forgot to tell that to average Americans who increasingly now are saying, eh, maybe not. It's still way, way early, but I'm telling you, what I always say about consensus, it is a dangerous thing. John Thune on that after this.